Hey guys, so first off, like in Gromit over there. <laughs> Today I'm doing a review video of this, which is Prada Luna Rasa. Prada Luna Rasa. It's a men's fragrance. First I'm going to get the boring bit off because in... boring bit off out of the way. In previous fragrance reviews that I've done, people have asked, you haven't done the notes and such such such. So I'm going to show you them. I've got the perfume website up here. Perfume shop website up. Heart notes are clary, sage and spearmint nana. Top notes are bitter orange, essence and lavender. Base notes are abroxan, ambretta absolute. And the scent is woody, fresh or aromatic. And I'll write that all down below because I probably butchered the names so bad. Anyway. This smells so nice. So let's get off with the price or the second thing because I told you the notes and stuff the first thing. First thing, the price. This is obviously a Prada fragrance so you expect it to be expensive for, what is this? This is a 50ml bottle in a do toilet. <laughs> toilet. This is £45 normally. I got this in a gift set at Christmas, after Christmas in the Boxing Day sales for £33, like 33 or something weird like that. And I got this and the shower gel. I haven't used the shower gel yet, so I can't give you any ex any expression, any impression on that. But I got that in the gift set, and so I got this discounted. It was a third off. So that was really good. But normally for a 50ml bottle, I'm not sure about the prices of the other sizes, but this is £45, which is kind of on par with other fragrances in the categories, like Prada is a high-end brand, no doubt about that, but like, just for a comparison, Victor and Roll Spice Bomb is £45 also, so you get the picture. Packaging, it's in, this is like a plastic bit up here, but it's glass underneath, this is glass, plastic, big like spray, hefty spray. It comes with this originally. I put on like that and it says on this remove before use, reposition when carrying. So it doesn't have a lid per se what they're saying. This is the lid but it's quite difficult to get on and off although that was really easy wasn't it. This is only to be used when carrying, so it doesn't have a lid. In other words, this is just a cheap plastic one. For a fragrance like this, you would expect to have it. Do have a more hefty one, and you can't move the spray thing, so yeah. Anyway, that's packaging over, and it comes in a really nice hefty box as well. You can see it in the background kind of over there. Longevity of this. This is by far the longest smelling, the longest lasting fragrance that I own. It is the highest end fragrance I own. So, and for the price, I would expect that. I don't have too many high end fragrances. The next one on my list is the Victor and Rolf one. To be honest, that was on first, but I smelt this in the Prada store in Vista. Loved it so much that I had to go and get it at Christmas. But Victor and Rolf, I would prefer better. But this is the most expensive fragrance I own. The other two more higher end ones, which aren't really higher end, although Hugo Boss is higher end. I've got Hugo Boss Orange and Hollister So Cal. They are kind of in the category one down from this, so in the £30 range mark, whereas this is 45 although I've got for 33 But um yeah. So longevity of this is second to none. It lasts all day. You put it on the morning, you can smell it. Not as strongly, but you can still smell it at the end of the day. So like 9 till 5, 10 till 6 kind of thing. You can still smell it at 6 o'clock. Lightly, you could touch it up throughout the day, but it is good for that. In terms of many sprays, I tend to do one, two to three. No more than three because the smell of it is quite strong. So I've done the price, packaging and scent. I think that pretty much covers it. I would recommend this. For longevity price point i'd wait till christmas because there is deals unless you can just willy-nilly spend 45 pounds i have to really think about if i want to spend 33 although i do have a job and such but still i'm not going to waste 33 pounds and you certainly wouldn't waste it on this so i would recommend it 
I haven't smelled anything that's similar to the smell of this. I am usually a good dupe person, such as the Marks and Spencers Hom. It's a dupe for Paco Rabanne Mominium, but I haven't smelled anything similar to this scent. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any more questions about this fragrance, I'll try to do my best at answering them if you put them in the comment section below. And yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Tell me what your favourite fragrance is below or tell me what fragrance I should try next. Victor and Rob is on my radar and it has been for a while. I'm just working up the courage to spend £45 on it. But anyway, hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!